Hi everyone, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you that there are no bodies and no components in Fusion 360. It's kind of been a sore spot for me since I started using it. And I'm going to help you sort out some problems you may have been having just simply by organizing the structure here, using the correct terminology and putting things in the proper place. Now, the first thing we're gonna do, we'll get right to it. I'm gonna save this. Always save your project first, but I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna call it model for today's lesson. Okay, so this is our model. It's tempting to go ahead and start sketching right now, but that's, that's not what you wanna do. All right, what do you want to do? Right click, now you see it says new component. Now think of it this way, I'm not gonna refer to anything as a component from this point on. When you see this, this is new part folder. Okay, and I'll show you why. So we'll click on it, new part folder, and then I'm actually gonna call this one part folder. Okay, so we have a part folder now. Folders contain things. Right now, the only thing it contains is its own origin. Now it's active, so if I sketch, it's gonna happen within this folder and it's gonna to start to populate the timeline down here and it's gonna to start to populate this folder. So let's go ahead and do a sketch, something simple. Okay, pick a rectangle, any size doesn't matter, press pull, let's bring it up a little bit. All right, so look what happened over here. In doing that, we got a sketch and we got a body. Thing is, this is not a body. This is your part. So I'm gonna name that part one. So what we have here is our model. Our model contains one part folder. Our part folder contains one part. And that's how it needs to be. So let's continue, we'll right click new part folder and for today's purpose we'll call this part folder 2. And then in here same thing, just the origin, that's all that's there. We're activated so now when I sketch, I'm sketching in this part folder. So let's slow it down a little bit. So there's the sketch. Now you see the sketch appeared in here. When I press pull, now I have a body that appears in here. And for today's purpose, that's gonna be part two. So what we have here now is part one, part two they are both inside their own separate part folders and these two part folders are inside the model now we're going to talk about this symbol here in a minute and why this is incorrect in order to do that we'll have to make an assembly folder and the way we do that right click remember we don't we don't no speak English, we don't see this, we see part folder. In this case, we're gonna change it to an assembly folder and I'll show you how. So I'm gonna call this assembly, type in with my left hand here, assembly folder. Okay, notice the symbols, part, part, part. There is nothing in this folder other than the origin but what we're gonna do is take that, hold down control, take that, take them, put them in this assembly folder. So now you notice the symbol changed 
that's the assembly symbol. That means that there's more than one part folder contained in here, as you can see, which means this symbol should be different. You can see up here it's different here too. This should be an exclusive symbol because this is a model right now of two parts. Those two parts are organized in an assembly folder. All right, let's let's verify that right here within Fusion. We'll take this guy, and this guy. We'll create a drawing. We'll get into all of these different things in much more detail, but I want to get this one off my chest first because this caused me a lot of hang-ups in the beginning when I first started using using Fusion, and I want to share this. So there's our drawing view. We'll look from the top. We'll leave it in color and say okay so now I pull out this table double click on it I'm gonna switch that switch that turn off the description turn off the material for now now what does that say it doesn't say component list it doesn't say body list it says part list and part name as it should because these are parts Okay, we'll go back to our model here. And now, again, within Fusion, I'm going to show you that this is a model. So here's our parameter. We can set up all kinds of parameters in here. But look what it says. Model parameters. And then it shows your part folder and uh, whatever else is in there. So now we've established that we're working within a model Within our model, we have assembly folders and part folders. And within the part folders is only one part. And that is how you need to organize things in Fusion. If you want to draw, do drawings, you want to do animations, you want to do manufacturing, so all the tooling for CNC, uh, etc. It has to be organized properly and you you really should at least consider what I'm saying here because I know it works. This is just a quick interview or a quick introduction to to this situation right here. So remember, there's no model or there's no bodies, there's no components. It's a model. Within the model there's assembly folders, and within the assembly folders there's part folders, and in the part folder only one part okay i hope that helped if you like this video i plan on putting many more short videos like this to, to help get, uh, give people a boost in fusion uh, this is obviously a pretty basic uh, introduction but we're going to get right into uh, full-blown kitchen drawings security desks uh, all these type of things how to draw them how to render them how to animate them how to like even the drawing side of thing i could spend hours uh, showing you how to draw or, or create shop drawings or millwork packages for customers and that so if you're interested uh, please hit the like button subscribe um, notification bell and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next or at the next video thanks